Before I actually claim this, I better actually make sure it's better than the one I have. Kuvanuko, 46.6%. Okay, so it's going to be better because it's... Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. 53%. There's also an ephemera that comes with it, but... Uh, I want my new call to be a little bit better. It's also even better with the Heart of Damus coming in the next few days. It's fire damage. So a fire damage new call against Infested is going to work wonders. As you can tell, I've also already worked out most of the Requiem for this. I just need to figure out what this last one is and I'm not going to guess what it is. So I'm just knocking them out once for the Kuva and he has hoping when I combine these two, it goes to 60% would be wonderful. It's an extra 10% higher, so I'm guessing it's going to be 55 to 58, somewhere around there. But I may have to wait a few hours or days, whereas you will have to wait a few minutes, seconds. Because I want the weapon and because I want the ephemera, I have to vanquish. I cannot convert. There is no converting being done here. Give me your Kuva Nuko. I guess you could say this was the game of many Kuva Lich deaths. Oh, and not to mention the recovery for, of everything, including 4,336 Kuva. And I think I may have uh, pressed record a bit too late there, but there was a fourth <laughs> Lich spawning in that mission, three of which were actually taken down. Now then, uh, there you are. One owned, one claimed. Oh, please. I don't care that it's got fire on it. The fact that the Heart of Damus is against the Infested is actually going to be a huge thing here. Now, I, no, I want to go to Upgrade. Uh, actions. Fusion. Infuse. Which has gone down. It's now 52.6. Uh, it'll make it a 57.8. Huge improvement, it's like 11.2 improvement, but still, that would have been much better if it had have gone to 60. Oh well, I uh, guess I'm just fusing these two together and hoping I infuse the right weapon first off. Yay, also, why? That is not the right build at all. It's made the entire thing. You can see the radiation damage has gone up by 100, the total damage has gone up by... Yeah. 150-ish. All from that, what I'm trying to figure out is why this is not on there. That's not the right mod. A little bit better, but not what it was before. Before, it was much better than that, and I don't know what happened because... Oh no! I do know what happened. For some reason, I had this weapon equipped and my build just disappeared, so I threw mods. This explains so much as to why this thing has been so bad for so long. But... Now it does even more damage. A little bit less status chance, but multi-shot kind of makes up for that anyway. And let's not forget, Golden Kitty shall now be Flaming Golden Kitty. I should probably take it against Infested since I keep mentioning the fact that it's fire does not bother me because I'm going to set it to heat for the Heart of Damus anyway, but um, let's just... Actually, I know it's still taking a long time to actually take down these enemies, but the whole thing I've been using this for recently has just been to kind of get them to fight amongst each other. Whereas now, a little bit of prolonged exposure, it will actually deal damage to them. Okay, so this thing is finally useful once more. As I mentioned before, uh, it wasn't. I was basically, and I think that's from the intro to this that I kind of lost, but uh, I originally was just using this on the steel path to get them to fight amongst each other. Like that. Because it wasn't doing that much damage. Whereas, well, now it's still not doing an insane amount of damage. What do you expect? It's the steel path. They start at level 100 plus and just get much, much tougher, but now, yeah, it's actually taking them out in a magazine. I've seen people doing this. Okay, that's a bad example. That was part of a magazine. 
but mine just has not been able to do it but you can see this one trooper seems to be giving it a bit of a issue there and then that trooper is going to go down really quickly as I get shot from behind I saw that sneaky the main reason and I will still continue to use this this way until I get it to 60% then I may concentrate a bit more on it but until then it's still basically going to be my uh, okay what was shooting me that time my irradiate them to run away from them weapon kill them with the primary with this just kind of nullify them um, that's not quite right wasn't that, didn't I just catch fire that means there's a Xmas enemy somewhere. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Oh well. Time for you to go away. Time for you to go away. Plus, let's not forget, when you take the heat damage off the radiation damage, what you end up with is less damage because you don't have the added mod in to turn the heat that that and that give into radiation to begin with. Because this weapon, uh, well, it's kind of inert damage is radiation. So having the radiation buff would work wonders on this, but it's nothing a quick change to or throw in of an electrical mod won't fix anyway. It will go higher than that. I don't think I'm going to run it solely in heat damage. Well, increase the heat damage of this because it's it works, but you're sacrificing that little bit of damage to do that and. We'll have to see when the Heart of Deimos actually launches in a few days, but I'm instantly regretting not keeping this straight up radiation, which is exactly what I've done. But, sadly, I need another one to get this to 60% anyway. Will it be worth it? Oh yes. The change from what it was to what it is now is actually quite huge. I did not expect it to jump up damage-wise that much. It would damage them before, but not that much. Because, well, as you can see, the build I have on this is actually really rubbish. Because I lost the build that I did have and I just haven't gone back to sort it. Now, however, I think I'm on the hunt for Lich number... Uh, that's not Liches, but never mind. Lich number, who knows. But the third one with a Kuva Nuko, so I can finally get this to 60%. And it should be fairly easy to do, I just need one. And that should take it to 60%. And then, start to work on what I can actually make this thing become. And in case you're wondering what happened to the footage of uh, in-game, once I actually captured the target, you may notice the lack of enemies that actually managed to spawn here, and me going back, trying to figure out what was going on, because... Well, the, there was no enemies. The, as soon as I captured the target, the screen kind of flashed, and then all enemies stopped spawning which is great when you're in the middle of trying to do something just having the enemies not spawn anymore but we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time